After three months, tomorrow we're going to find out what was said during a closed door meeting between two powerful Texans. The conversation was between Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin and the CEO of the conservative group Empower Texans. KVU political anchor Ashley Godot joins us now. And Ashley, there's a recording of this conversation that will be released tomorrow. Indeed, Mike and Quita. Michael Quinn Sullivan has said this recording could cause harm to politicians, their families, and even the GOP. But because there is so much pressure from the state's top Republicans, including Governor Greg Abbott, he will release it. They say what's done in the dark will always come to light. And on Tuesday, light will be shed on a June conversation that happened in the Texas Capitol between Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin, then House Republican Caucus Chair Dustin Burroughs, and the CEO of the conservative political group Empower Texans, Michael Quinn Sullivan. It's alleged that there was a quid pro quo, meaning that Bonin offered Michael Quinn Sullivan media credentials for his website, which have been denied media credentials for the last couple of years. Um, in exchange for them targeting a list of 10 re fellow Republicans that they should go after in the in the next year's primaries. Long story short, Bonin denied the claims. Then Sullivan revealed he secretly recorded the conversation. Travis County GOP Chair Matt McCoviak heard the recording and in August told us what he heard. I went in, you know, understanding Sullivan said one thing happened and Bonin denied it. And so I thought the truth would be somewhere in the middle. The truth was really right at the end of, of what where Sullivan described. It. The conversation has become the subject of articles, a lawsuit, a House committee meeting, Texas Rangers investigation, Twitter spats, and dark cloud over Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin. The real question for now is the political question. You know, if people can't trust you, can you be Speaker of the House again and can you be the Republican caucus chairman again? The answer to the latter question proved to be no. Burroughs resigned as caucus chair in August. As for Bonin's future as speaker, some say it heavily depends on the recording and what we'll all hear Tuesday. Now Sullivan says he will release the full audio of the conversation a little after 9 o'clock tomorrow morning on his website, texasscorecard.com. And we're set to talk with him shortly after that. So we'll keep you updated on this developing story.